Welcome, Full Metal fans. My name is Payson Johnson. I am having my singles match today. I could not be more excited. I want to thank Jay. I want to thank Andrew. I want to thank Sandy. I want to thank everyone who gave me this opportunity. Uh, I'm facing David today. David, he, he's a heck of a competitor. I just hope both of us can have the best game we possibly can. I've been watching the show for two years. I think I can do it. I am very excited to go. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Doing this for the Leaf Village. What's up? Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is David. This is my uh, debut for the Full Metal uh, Singles match. I did three classics before, so and I won all three of them. So yeah, I love movies. I love movie trivia. I followed uh, the Schmodown for quite a while so far. And yeah, this is a big opportunity for me. I can't wait. Um, so I'm facing uh, Payson today, and I Beat him before in the last classic, so hopefully he stays that way. So uh, we'll see. Yeah, can't wait. I just want to have fun, and let's go. Welcome, everybody, to a brand new episode of Full Metal Trivia. My name is Sandy the Sandman Robinson, and we are in the Singles League. Season 5 is kicking off already. We're having a great time and lots of great competitors. I can't do this alone. I'm introducing my next my co-host. You guys might recognize him. He's probably one of the best players to come out of the fan leagues. He's a current writer on the Schmodown. He's my buddy, my best friend, Jeremy the Adam Adams. Hey, buddy. Well, hello, Sandy. So glad to be back here. And, uh, man, I haven't hosted a, an awesome match with some, some new players in a while, so I'm really excited. Uh, you know, you talk about me, you know, having been a big player here, but, you know, it's all about... Uh, getting the new guys in because there's so much talent out there and uh, I'm really excited for these guys that we have today. There really is. The The classics this year have been uh, amazing. Uh, you know, you're, you're going to hear in, in their promos, you know, uh, David's won three. You know, wow. you know, as a rookie, he's won three already. Uh, Payson has done very, very well as well. These These guys have, you know, they were literally on the lips of every person that matters in this community about want uh, about the future of these guys. So I, I'm expecting an amazing match. And I, you know, it's just exciting. You know, all these years ago, back you know three years or whatever it was, we set up Full Metal Classic as a way of trying to get you know every player that that's interested you know in this family community the opportunity to play and here it is all these years later and that format's still working and finding these great players and they're getting their shot today they're getting their shot in the singles match and you know this who knows where it could lead from here we've seen so many uh great talents and stars and schmodown legends get launched from these matches so i'm just really excited to see what these guys can do and uh yeah they both seem like Terrific fellas, and uh, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, the one thing they're going to have to to worry about in this thing is just nerves, and if they yep. can conquer that, they've got the skill to answer these questions. But I think we should get them into the ring. What about you? Let's do it. Introducing first, he has a strength of Steven Spielberg. He is debuting. It is David. Nishimoto! Woo! Yay. Hey. <laughs> and up? his opponent also making his debut with a strength of Cohen Brothers. He is Payson Johnson! Let's go. All right, guys. There we go. That's how I want it. All right, All right guys. Jeremy, we're, we're going to get right into the round, the rules for round number one. How about you read those out to them? Absolutely. Pretty much like any other league, uh, every competitor gets eight questions from eight different categories. For each question, we'll have 15 seconds to write an answer down. After time, time is up, the competitors will show and say what they wrote. Correct answer is worth one point. There's no penalties for missing a question. And if a competitor answers all eight questions correctly, they will receive a bonus question. Absolutely. Okay, guys, you were told at the beginning, uh, before the match, you guys have three repeats and one challenge. Use them wisely. But how about we get into round number one? Um, you can take the, the odds. Jeremy. Okay. All right. Well, good luck, guys. 
Your first question is going to be in the category of horror slash thriller. And your question is, what government agency does Clarice Starling work for in the Silence of the Lambs? See, there's a reason that I gave you the odds because <laughs> I can't even say that name. So. I feel like I, as much as you hate this movie, is how much I love it. <laughs> Just shows how Team, Five, eight, team 80s is a four, yin and yang. Three, <laughs> two, he skins people, one. Uh, all right, we're going to start with, uh, let's start with David. Uh, FBI. And Payson. FBI. All right, good start to these guys. That is the correct answer. Let's move into question number two, and it is in biopics. What biopic stars Felicity Jones, David Thewellis, and Eddie Redmayne? I think it's Thewellis. Thewellis. But... I added an E. <laughs> That's all right. I was channeling RJ. <laughs> You should have just said Prof Professor Lupin. Everyone would have yeah, known who you met. That's right. <laughs> or, you know, Aries. But that no. too. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. We are going to start with Payson. You shouldn't have won an Oscar, but the answer is the theory of everything. And David. Uh, theory of, of everything. Still perfect. That's the right answer. All Let's right, guys. For a second. <laughs> Great start here. We'll, but we're going on to question number three in the category of actors and actresses. Who has appeared in the following films? Finding Forrester, 25th Hour, X-Men, and The Piano. That's quite an eclectic group of movies right there. You know, I like them all, too. I agree. All right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. David. Anna Paquin. And Payson. Anna Paquin. All right. Perfect again. Keep us cut Let's yet. You just keep it going. Yep. Well, we're going to get into question number four, and its category is animation. What kind of animal is Cody Maverick in Surf's Up? He's got a great name. <laughs> yep. I feel um, like there, there's some movie it makes you think of that, that you might enjoy. I should have come out this year. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Oh, Five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Payson, what do you got? Penguin. And David. Penguin. Wow, these guys are really showing us exactly they why sure are. they're in this match today. Perfect again. Absolutely perfect. Halfway through the round, but we get on to the next question in the category of drama. What branch of the armed forces did Tom Farrell serve in in the 1987 film, No Way Out. This is a good movie. Oh, such a good movie. Team 80s. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. I'm going to give you guys five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. David. Navy. And Payson. I also said Navy. And you would be also correct. Ooh, Navy ooh, is the right God. answer. Wow, these All guys. Right. I know, right? All right. Finally, a category that I'm good at. Sci-fi fantasy. What sci-fi author does Malcolm McDowell play in the film Time After Time? Have you seen this one, Sandy? I haven't. It's great. You need to search okay. it out. It's a really wonderful movie. After the countdown, I'll tell you what the director also directed. Ooh, okay. <laughs> These guys seem to be ready, so we're going to give them five, four, three, two, and one. He also, he also did um, Star Trek Two and Star Trek Six. 
<laughs> so oh, I know really? so I know this movie would be up your alley. Nicholas Meyer? Wow, <laughs> Nicholas nice. Meyer, okay. yeah. All right, Payson. Shot in the dark, H. G. Wells. And David. H. G. Wells. Same thing. Well, Ooh, what a, that's a shot in the dark, all right, but correct again. Both Dang. of you. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Penultimate question. This is a this is a category can be tough for some, but we'll see if you guys can get the momentum going. Keep it going. Classics. What is Nick Charles' profession in the film The Thin Man? That's something I used to be. A thin man. I still am, except for stomach area. <laughs> the years are catching up a little bit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, gonna give you guys five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, David. What do you got? I'm guessing, but uh, Private Eye and Payson. I put Detective. <laughs> you guys are both. Correct. We will accept okay. both of those right. answers. <laughs> both of those okay. answers. <laughs> it literally says Detective. Private investigator also is acceptable. So that's just <laughs> it's written right down. Absolutely there. perfect, you guys. All right, guys. Here is your question and category uh, question eight and category of plot summary. Oh, name the 80s film. A team of commandos on a mission in the jungle are attacked by an alien hunter that is a master of blending in to its surroundings. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was good for you guys? Mm -hmm. I love it when you do that, Sandy. <laughs> Come narrate my day Five. someday. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. We're going to go to Payson. Stick it around, Predator. <laughs> and David. Predator. And we perfect, have two perfect rounds. Two perfect Good job, rounds. Good job. Good job. Damn. And they didn't mess up and add the the because that's a different movie. Yep. Good exactly. job, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. All right, guys. I have, guys. Your, I have your bonus yep. question, guys, for the potential of getting nine points here. The question is, Keanu Reeves plays a quarterback from Ohio State in the film Point Break and what other film as well? Bar, that's I feel a great like question. I know you're watching it, right now. It is a great question. I feel like you're a fan of both of these, Andy. I very much am. <laughs> Knowing you. I know you. <laughs> yes, you do. All right. For the bonus question, five, four, three, two, and one. David. The replacements. And Payson. No replacements. These guys Nine are absolutely okay, okay. kicking the crap out of this. Holy moly, you guys. That is that deserves a round Great of job. applause. Absolutely. Good job, guys. Well, we don't I have did. to actually take a break because uh, the score is nine to nine. It's a perfect <laughs> score. We're going to move into round number two right now. Jeremy, can you read them the rules for round number two, please? Absolutely. Again, congrats, guys. Uh, I can't remember how many times I got nine points around one in all my matches. It may not have happened, so congrats. Once all right, you're round two. No, I don't know if I did in full metal, hmm. but I don't know. It's, it's pretty rare. Congrats. Round yeah. two. The leading competitor will decide to go first or second. The player, or in this case, the, the one that, that won the coin toss, will decide to go first or second. The player going first will bet on either red or black. The wheel will then be spun and will land on either a category or a color. If a color is spun, the competitor with the corresponding color will choose a category for themselves or for their opponent. If a category is spun, the competitor can choose to take it or respin. If they respin, they'll have to stick with whatever category the wheel lands on. From the category, they'll get four questions worth two points each, multiple choices available, reducing the point value to one, and opponents can steal the points available if the question is answered incorrectly. All right, guys, and the categories that we gave you ahead of the match are, in no particular order, scores and soundtracks, comedy, Rachel Weisz, these hallowed halls, movies set in college, musicals, 90s movies, 
action adventure, Walter Matthau, Gone Courtin, at Courtroom Films, 1989 Films, and the strength categories, Steven Spielberg for David and the Coen brothers for Payson, as well as the aforementioned Red and Black. Guys, you have any questions before we go into who's going to pick first? So we're just saying these out loud, right? We're not writing it on the board? Yeah. No. no okay. Just say it. Okay. Cool. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so David, you won the toss at the, the start of the game, so you can choose to go first or second. I'll go first. Okay. And what color would you like? Uh, black. Always been on black. <laughs> a certain That's chance Ellison said. always used to say that <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> every match he played all right so you have chosen the color black i have my handy dandy wheel you can see that it is there on black are you ready for your first spin yep okay here we go <sighs> round and round it goes Ooh, so close. <laughs> Comedy. Yeah, okay. Go with it. Okay. Uh, you can read them, these ones. Okay. All right. All right, David. Your first question in the category of comedy. In Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping, what is the name of the dance that the Style Boys had created? You can do multiple choice, right? All right. Yeah. Is it A, the horse drop, B, the ladybug bash, C, the kick with it, or D, the donkey roll? Uh, I'll go with donkey roll. That is correct for one point. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Your second question. Who stars as Maggie Dubois in the 1965 comedy The Great Race? Multiple choice. All right. Is it A, Natalie Wood, B, Deborah Carr, C, Janet Lee, or D, Audrey Hepburn? Uh, B, Deborah Carr. That is incorrect. So, Payson for the steal, I'll repeat the options. Was it A, Natalie Wood, B, Deborah Carr, C, Janet Lee, or D, Audrey Hepburn? I believe the answer is Natalie Wood. That is correct for a one point steal. All right, third question. What kind of art does Phil learn how to make in Groundhog Day? Ice sculpting? For two points. Two points. Nice deep cut pull <laughs> there. Oh. Very, very impressive. All right, your last question in the category of comedy. How does the character Chad die in Burn After Reading? <laughs> he, uh, he gets shot in the closet. That is correct for two points. Two points. What a way to end the round. Two, two oh, points man. in a row. He did let that one steal go away, yeah. but you know what? It's anybody's game as we go over to Payson. The only movie that you cannot, or the only category that you cannot get is comedy. It'll be a technical respin. But are you ready for your first spin? Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, what's it gonna land on? These it's Howl college halls, college, college movies. movies. I'll spin it one more time. Okay. Yeah. Spinning again. Here we go. Whatever it lands on is what you're going to get. Okay. Rachel Weiss. All right. Oh, I was right under there. Good job. Okay. <laughs> 
Payson, your first question in Rachel Weiss is, who composed the score for 1999's The Mummy? I'll go multiple. Okay. Your multiple choice options are A, Howard Shore, B, James Newton Howard, C, Jerry Goldsmith, or D, James Horner? I'll go B. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Chance for a one-point steal. I will give you the choices again. A, Howard Shore, B, James Newton Howard, C, Jerry Goldsmith, or D, James Horner? C, Jerry Goldsmith. And that is correct for a one-point steal. He gets that point back. All right, Pacey, your second question. For what film did Rachel Weiss earn her first Oscar nomination? I'll just go for it and do it. Five. Multiple four. choice. Okay. Your multiple choice options are A, The Constant Gardener, B, The Deep Blue Sea, C, The Favorite, or D, Sunshine. A. That is correct for one point. Gets himself on the board. All right, your third question. What rock star plays opposite Weiss as Balthazar in the film Constantine? Yeah, I'll go multiple choice. Okay. Your multiple choice options are A, Ozzy Osbourne, B, Eddie Vedder, C, David Bowie, or D, Gavin Rosdale. D, Gavin Rosdale. Correct again for one point. Working the way through. It's what you got to do. Why would that be on there if it wasn't the answer? <laughs> <laughs> Good thinking. Yep. <laughs> All right. And your final question in round number two. In what film will you hear will you hear Weiss say the quote for every shadow no matter how deep is threatened by morning light Let's go multiple choice again Okay your multiple choice options are A Oz the Great and Powerful B, Denial, C, The Light Between Oceans, or D, The Fountain? Oh, in between two. Five. The Fountain. For another point. That is pretty darn good. We are going to take a break this time to make sure we get the scores correct. But we'll be right back right after this. Well, Jeremy, we did the score calculations. And if mine are correct, because I did it twice, I checked it twice. It is 15 to 13 in favor of David. So please read the rules for round number three so we can get into it. Absolutely. And I just want to say I'm really impressed with these guys. Those round two questions are, are really tough, you know, and to come to come into your first match and hit those questions and still keep your head about you like these guys did. I'm, I'm very impressed. But in any case, round number three works as such. There will be one question worth two points and two questions worth four points each in this round. There's there are no multiple choice available, but there's also no stealing. A wheel will be spun to determine the movie for each question. Players will have the option to respin only one time in round three, so choose wisely, guys. If a movie has no questions remaining for a respective point value and a player lands on it, they will get a technical respin. 
The player behind will start answering questions first. Once that player tires or moves ahead of their opponent, the other player will start answering questions. On the first four-point spin for a player, the first four-point question will be asked. On the second four-point four spin for the same player, the second four-point question will be asked. Each player will go back and forth answering their questions until a player is mathematically eliminated. Okay. And the movies that were given to the competitors four days before this match in order to study up are The Apartment, Enemy of the State, Some Like It Hot, the Rugrats movie. Great movie. The Fisher King. That's a great movie. Goodfellas. Inside Llewellyn Davis. And The Maltese Falcon. Another good movie. <laughs> All right. So, David, you can sit back just for a little bit here because we have to give Payson his opportunity to tie the game up with his first two-point question. And Payson... I've got your movies here on a wheel. Are you ready for your first spin? Remember, you only get one re-spin throughout the, all of round number three. Absolutely. Ready? Okay, here we go. And just a reminder, all competitors have all of their repeats. Yep, so. all your repeats. Here we go. What's it going to land on? I'm going to say, I don't know. Ooh, my favorite. Good my, my favorite on there. All right, oh, Payson. Apartment. Yep. Okay. Go ahead, Jeremy. All right, I'll read for you, Payson. In the apartment, your two question, your two point question is: Who plays the character Jeff Sheldrake? Fred McMurray. For two points. Two points, and he ties it up. So we go to David, right? Um, I'm just checking. I don't think so. I think we have to I stay. Need to stay until I take a lead. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Tie. Oh no. The player behind will start answering questions first. Once that player ties or moves ahead of their opponent, yeah. the other will get their first question. I was so pretty gonna... sure that's how we did it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna move over to David. David, for your two point question, are you ready for your spin? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> the Rugrats movie. Just absolutely brutal. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can respin if you want. I'm going to respin. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Thank you for respinning off of that. <laughs> The Maltese and Falcon. The classic. The Maltese Falcon. Something has happened here. What is going on? It's at the bottom there. If you no, want to I know. I one. just I couldn't scroll down. Uh oh. I'm good now though. Okay, David, your two point question to once again regain the lead. In the Maltese Falcon. Who plays Casper Gutman? Five. Four. I don't have it. That's the one name I didn't study. <laughs> two. One. Pens down. All right. Unfortunately, what we were looking for was Sydney Green Street. Sydney Green Street. Uh, that's the one name I didn't remember. Okay. All right. So we're gonna stay with. Or do we go back? Do we go back to Payson? Or I think we go back to Payson since they're still tied. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think that's what we what, what I've seen. Yeah, you because guys do. It's one two point question. Then yeah, yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Payson, we're coming back to you for your first four point question. Are you ready for your spin? Absolutely. Well, look at that. You have also the Maltese Falcon. 
Mike here. God. <laughs> You've got the one respin left. Yeah. I will take it. All right, he's you gonna respin. No, no, no. I, I he's gonna I, I, I will take the movie. No, I will take the movie. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nice theme they have going here. Your four point question in the film The Maltese Falcon. By what name is the character Casper Gutman also known as? Five, four, repeat. Three. Okay. By what name is the character Casper Gutman also known as? Once again, I'm between two. The big man. Oh, man, that's a hard. It's a fat the, man. the The fat man was the answer. Oh yes. my god! Oh, I knew that. <laughs> oh, that is. Those are those are the most painful ones. But uh, yeah, I yep. think we're still tied, so we go back to okay. David. We go back to David now. All right, David. No more respins. Ready for your four, first four point spin. Yep. Don't go to the Maltese. That movie know. is very <laughs> popular today. Wow. <laughs> we are all right, in all right. the Maltese the Falcon. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, the good the good news is it won't come up again. That's right. After this. That's right. This is it. <laughs> All right, David. Your four point question in the Maltese Falcon is: What is the name of the ship that was set on fire? La Paloma. For four points in the lead. Wow. Ooh. All right. <laughs> All right, Payson. Right. Yep. It comes. It comes back to you. Right now, the score is fifteen to nineteen. So you, I, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fifteen, fifteen to nineteen. You have to hit this to tie. So, good luck. And here, and you've got one respin available. So. Get out of there. The apartment. Oh. Yeah, the apartment. There are so many questions you can ask about this movie. Just to say that I... I'll take it. Okay. Okay. All right. Your four point uh, question in the apartment, Payson, is what specific drink does Miss Kubelik order when we first see her meeting Sheldrake? Five. Four. Repeat the question. Three. Okay. What specific drink does Miss Kubelik order when we first see her meeting Sheldrake? I'm not going to waste your time. Bourbon on the rocks. I have no idea. And your winner. David Nishimoto. The answer, guys, was fro frozen daiquiri. Frozen daiquiri was the answer. Oh, all right, guys. We are going to come right back with some commentary and some comments from our unfortunate second place finisher today. We will be right back with that right now. Payson. 
amazing performance. I know Tremendous. that it stinks that you lost in, in, in round number three, but you know what? Playing the way you did, getting, you know, Rachel Weiss uh, on your respin, uh, you know, not your forte, but you went to multiple choice. You worked your way out of it. You show you know how to play the game, you know, and then just getting stuck in round number three with two movies. <laughs> you know, uh, round one, perfect round. There aren't a ton of people in, in this league that can say that. Yeah. I don't even know if there's any that can say that they got a perfect round in their debut. Um, so uh, how did you feel about your match today? Overall thoughts? I I feel pretty good. Obviously, it, it sucks to lose, but I, I'm, I'm going to hold my head high. I answered what I knew. There was nothing I really fumbled on except for that one Maltese Falcon question. Um, I, I just wa I rewatched The Apartment again this morning. I probably took about seven pages of notes on everything in that movie and i oh. couldn't remember what she ordered to drink i can tell you what she ordered to eat but oh, can't tell you what she ordered to drink oh. um it sucks but it's how it, it 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 happens david you played a heck of a game and it it it, it was amazing to play well, I can absolutely tell you this, and I believe I'm going to speak with Jeremy at all. That was a, a phenomenal absolutely. debut performance. Uh, we probably will not see you again for the rest of the year, but you know what? You are definitely in, uh, you know, in, in some good matches next year for sure. Uh, we're going to get you. Uh, we're we're going to get you some competitors because that was that was amazing. So thank you for playing. Uh, right now, we're going to go to our winner today. David Nishimoto. How you doing, David? That was an amazing performance Tremendous all the way debut. through. A great, as much as I said, you know, for pacing, that was an amazing debut. The fact that you won on your debut, the way you did on your debut, that is fantastic. A perfect round. Got stumbled up on comedy a little bit, but then crushed it in the last two questions to take a lead. And then you missed your first two pointer on uh, on uh, the Maltese Falcon, but then you got that four pointer to solidify your lead. How you feeling? Uh, I feel relieved. I feel great. Um, I was super nervous coming into this. Um, I knew I know Payson was a great competitor, um, but I'm just glad I just I'm glad I finished Maltese Falcon this morning, <laughs> and I made a point to remember what the ship's name was just in case. And uh, yeah, it was just. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to expect, but I'm glad uh, now I know how it goes, and hopefully in the future um, I can keep going on to this for this. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, winning in winning in singles gets you uh, a match faster than uh, faster than most. So, um, although we have the rest of the year already mapped out, I definitely am going to see you uh, you know right away uh, when our season starts back up in early or. Uh, late January, early February next year. But this was an amazing performance. Uh, I thank you for playing. Uh, remember, you've got, you said you got three wins in classic, right? Yeah, two this year, one last year. So. Ah, are you going so to this year. are you gonna try to um, get, uh, get those other uh, two victories to try to get into the full medals uh, classic championship at the end of the year? Yeah, then I'll definitely try. All right. Well, Absolutely. we look. Well, we look forward to that, David. Once again, thank you very much for being here. We will see you in your next match. Jeremy, I mean, two debuting players pulling, you know, tandem round one smackdown. Absolutely. Incredible. And, and then, you know, uh, them fighting. Like, they knew how to play this game all along in round yeah. two and in three. Uh, it, it bodes very, very well for the future of Full Metal and the future of movie trivia oh, yeah. in, in this space, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I remember back, you know, when we first kind of started this thing, launched it, and then the few months, it was like we were kind of seeing the same players come back over and over, and we were like, you know, is this, this thing going to continue to grow, or is it just going to stall out? And then, you know, to fast forward three years and still have talent of this level coming in, I mean, I... 
you know, I obviously had my run in full metal, but I, I feel like I'd, I'd be trepidatious to play either of these guys based on what we saw here today. I think that they're, you know, the, the highest level of talent. And, man, I just am so excited to see what these guys are going to do in 2021. And uh, I, I'm just, I feel honored to have been back. I haven't, you know, hosted that much this year and to, to be back for this incredible debut for both these guys, you know. And I know they might, you know, be kicking themselves over a couple of the, those questions, but they really shouldn't because, you know, it's no secret that the the questions of Full Metal, like I said, they're no joke. The, the these questions will test you, and uh, you know, when you when you answer these questions, it sees it, it makes you see. All right, this is the level I have to play at, and then you you kind of recalibrate when coming back, and you know, the nerves go away the more you play. And I can just I can't even think where these guys are going to be in six months a year. I I just see such potential in them going forward. Yeah, I can absolutely see these guys in, in number one contender matches and championship matches in, in the future, in the near future. Yeah. Uh, well, that's going to do it for us here at Full Metal Trivia. This has been the singles lead. My name is Sandy the Sandman Robinson. My partner over here is over here is Jeremy the Adam Adams. We are Full Metal Trivia. Please like, subscribe, and comment when you want to. Uh, we want to uh, sh send a big shout out to our head question writer. Andrew James Barr and his team, our Great head job, editor, guys. Jeff Varu and his team, all of the fans out there that like and watch our movies. We really, really love that. Thank you so much. It helps us grow and helps us keep on doing what we're doing. Real quick, Sandy, I'm nope. sorry. I just, I just want to say uh, we send our love out to our dear friend, Kevin. Oh, uh, Kevin, yeah. Kevin, uh, you know, listen, prayers and, anything you need brother anything you need we're all full metal is here Absolutely. for you uh we would do that so on that note have fun watch movies <laughs>